In 85, we won the national championship against Penn State. You know, it was one of those games where everything uh, came together. Yeah, a really tough football, great defensive football team, but everything came together. I mean, basically it's teamwork, offense, defense and special teams. And fortunately enough, I was able to make a big play in that game. Of course, Jamel Holloway drops back to pass. It's third down, home run ball. He could go, it's the tight end out of Oklahoma, Keith Jackson, you know, and, and I, I remember that play. The ball stayed in the air so long. It was like it was slow motion. And you know, you catch the ball and you, and you know you're in the national championship game and you realize you just made a huge play. Game's not over yet. We go back to work, we end up beating Penn State in that game. It was an exciting time. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's called team football. And that's what we had at Oklahoma. That's what, that's what was special. The top six award was it. I made. I was academic all big, big eight at the time, and and all that. But I mean, when I when I got this top six award, it was it was the crowning achievement that I am not just an athlete. You know, I'm an academic athlete and uh, a scholar athlete, if they would say. And that's what I was always striving for. I wanted to be set aside. I wanted to be different. I felt that it was time to quit playing professional football. I felt a yearning for what I did at home and starting a children's organization called PART more than I did going out and playing on the football field. I see myself in the kids at PART. PART is Keith Jackson. PART is the, the seventh going to the eighth grade kid who had D's and F's. When a kid walks in, they're saying a whole bunch. Um, Sometimes the kid is saying, my home life is really bad. Sometimes the kid is saying, nobody's giving me an opportunity. Sometimes they're saying, you know what, if somebody would just pat me on the back and, and, and just give me that encouragement, I will go a mile for them. And so you listen to them, you listen to what they say, and then you respond to it in a positive way. That's why it's positive atmosphere reaches kids. And you can see instantly when they get it, their attitudes change, their grade points change, everything starts to change in one summer. Uh, and they stay in the program from the eighth, once they get in the program, all the way to the 12th grade. So you have five years to mold the next generation. This year, we'll have 41 students graduate from the program, 41 students, and they go, and uh, you know, 70% of our students who graduate go off to college. So, yeah, the numbers are remarkable, and, and they come, as one of my program directors said, which was a great quote, he said, from 1.5 to a college campus is a long way. And so there's millions of people who go through life who don't know their purpose. But I know mine. Every day I wake up, I love going to work.